What do Albert Einstein, Winston Churchill, Thomas Edison, and Leonardo da Vinci have in common? All of them struggled with dyslexia. It sometimes made them write backwards, but only Leonardo turned this into his lifelong habit. And maybe that explains his genius. He was an anatomist, a painter, an engineer, a thinker, and even an astronomer. What others saw as a weakness became his doorway to multidimensional thinking. His true legacy was not just the Mona Lisa or the Last Supper. Leonardo left around 13,000 pages of notebooks. Only about 7,000 survived. The rest are lost forever. Today, his notebooks are scattered around the world. The Codex Atlanticus in Milan, the Codex Lester owned by Bill Gates, others kept in London, Paris, and Madrid. And what do they contain? Everything designs of machines centuries ahead of their time, anatomical studies more precise than the medicine of his day, notes on the moon, on water, on the stars, and on the earth itself. Even after five centuries, his notebooks remain a mystery. That's why Leonardo da Vinci is remembered as a man who lived in the 15th century, but thought as if he had seen the 21st.